Shalom. Shalom. This is Yahya W. Spring to from the land of Israel. We represent Brit Am, a movement that finds a lost ten tribes amongst Western nations. And today we're going to give a very brief overall presentation of the family of Abraham. Abraham was the first Hebrew. What happened to his descendants? Who his descendants came and how things came out according to the history of his family. Abraham was the first Hebrew. Abraham married Sarah. Sarah had a handmaiden, a maidservant called Hagar. She was an Egyptian woman. When Sarah found that she was not pregnant, getting pregnant, that she was apparently barren, she asked Abraham to go into her handmaiden Hagar and bear a child. Because she thought by virtue of doing this, of enabling Abraham to have offspring, she too would eventually married to have offspring of her own, and that is indeed what happened. At all events, Abraham came on Hagar, and uh, Hagar became pregnant, and uh, Ishmael was born. From Ishmael came many of the early forefathers of the Arab peoples. Ishmael is identified as the forerunner of the Arab peoples, both physically and in a cultural, symbolic sense. Later, Sarah did give birth to a son. The son was named Isaac. After Sarah died, Abraham took other concubines named Keturah. And that term Keturah is, in some opinions, a collective name. In other opinions, it's the name of a specific woman. From Keturah, Abraham begat other children. They moved to the east, and uh, they gave rise to peoples in the east, a portion of the peoples in India. Possibly the Brahmins are reputedly descended from Abraham. And Abraham had already begotten his Isaac. Isaac was the son of Abraham and Sarah. Isaac took to wife Rebekah. And from Rebekah were born twins, Esau and Yaakov. Esau is also known as Edom. From Edom descend military elite peoples. The aristocracy of numerous nations, a foundational element of numerous nations. It is worth noting that amongst the nations that Esau gave rise to, Maybe included the ancient Romans or a portion of them and uh, some of the ancient Germanic peoples or their rulers and also a section of the Japanese aristocracy and other peoples. That is Esau. Jacob, Jacob the brother of Esau, was renamed Israel. Israel gave rise to 12 tribes. These are the 12 tribes of Israel. The 12 tribes of Israel divided into two separate sections. In the south was Judah, the tribe of Judah, and the tribe of Benjamin. After that, most of the tribe of Levi also attached themselves to Judah, and so did refugee minority elements from the northern Ten tribes also come to Judah, but most of the Israelites, the ten northern tribes, had their own kingdom known as Israel or as Samaria or as Ephraim in uh, honor of the leading tribe. And this northern section was conquered by the Assyrians who was taken into exile. From their places of exile, they were resettled in other areas. They uh, achieved their independence, they revolted, rebelled against the Assyrians, became independent in their places of exile, and in different ways they moved westward. They moved to the west and eventually settled in the west. They, people, they be, contributed to the foundation of western nations. They settled in western areas. We do not say that everyone in the said regions is descended from Israelites, 
but a good portion or at least an important significant and historically significant portion of them were. We find the lost ten tribes amongst the following nations. We find the tribes of, of Joseph. Joseph was divided into two different sections, Ephraim and Manasseh. He gave rise to people assembled in the British Isles, including Ireland. Ephraim and Manasseh were in the British Isles. From the British Isles, they founded the nations of Canada and the USA, Australia, New Zealand, South Africa, and other areas. That they are the tribes of Joseph. Other members of the ten tribes also settled in the British Isles. The dominant uh, element was from the tribes of Joseph, Ephraim, and Manasseh. The tribe of Reuben settled in France, or at least in a portion of France, and it gave a rise to the French nation and influenced the characteristics of the French people. The tribe of Simeon was scattered among the other tribes. Levi, like Simeon, was also scattered amongst the other tribes, though a good portion of Levi settled in Judah and came put a portion of the Jewish people. Issachar gave rise to the Finni, Finland, Issachar gave rise to the Finland, to the Finnish people, and also to some uh, groups who settled in Switzerland. Zebulun created the Netherlands. There's even once a, a people who settled in the Netherlands, according to Ptolemy, a nation uh, geographer in uh, Roman times, that in the area of what is now the Netherlands, there was a people known as Zibulun Goy, which in Hebrew means Goy, that is the people of Zibulun. And there are numerous other proofs in this direction. Asher, the tribe of Asher, settled in Ireland, in Scotland, and in Scandinavia. Gad became uh, an element among the Swedish peoples and other elements from Gad settled elsewhere in Scandinavia. Then became the Danes, who gave the Denmark its name, and, all, they all, and also a group from Dan settled in uh, Northern Ireland and uh, in Ireland in general, and now Dali settled amongst the Norwegians. So for all of uh, what we've just said, we have uh, proofs, we have proofs from archaeology, we have proofs from historical records, we have proofs from mythology, and also we have proofs from the Bible. And we have these proofs, and we give these proofs over in great detail. And to those who are interested are welcome to study our literature, to study our articles on our websites, to see more of our videos. And uh, this is what we are here for. We're here to teach this lesson and to spread it as far and widely as possible. The ten tribes have became lost, who lost consciousness and awareness of their ancestry, and whose Israelite identity was not known to others, are known as the Lost Ten Tribes of Israel. They are the ones who were headed by Joseph. They are the ones who had a, a task of their own to fulfill. They were destined to go down to the level of the Gentile. They were destined also to evolve upward, to advance forward, and to drag the rest of the world with them which is what to a degree they have done. They are the lost ten tribes of Israel. In the future they will reunite with Judah. Judah and the lost ten tribes will become, will become one nation. Judah, the term Judah in biblical prophecy represents the Jewish people. They derive from the tribes of Judah, of Benjamin, of most of Levi, from minority representations of all of the other tribes who attach themselves to them, they are represented by Judah in biblical prophecy. The biblical prophecy puts a great emphasis upon Judah. Why? Because Judah did not lose consciousness of his awareness. Judah did not become lost. And Judah had a task of his own to fulfill. From Judah will come the future Messiah from the house of David. And the task of Judah was to keep the law and to fulfill the law, and that is what to a degree they too have done. And in the future, the two halves of Judah and of the lost ten tribes will reunite. A first step in this direction is letting people know who the lost ten tribes are, to arousing consciousness and awareness of this important biblical and historical truth 
This is what we do. This is what we are bound to do. This is our task and this is what we endeavor to accomplish, to bring knowledge of this important truth to others. May the Lord God of Israel bless you all. Thank you.